Have you ever wondered how your favorite restaurant prepares your favorite dish? I know I have. Seafood lovers like myself, you're coming with me in my airplane as we fly high and low, searching for the newest seafood recipes we can get our hands on. We're going to visit the nation's finest restaurants to learn how they create their masterpieces. So join me, Langston Majet, seafood lover and master pilot, as we fly to our first adventure destination, Ocean City, Maryland. This is Ocean City, Maryland, premier tourist destination in the Mid-Atlantic. We got a nice view of the beach, we got the boardwalk, but that's not what we're here for. We're in search of fresh seafood. Not only am I going to catch the seafood, but I'm going to pair up with the local restaurant to learn new, innovative recipes that I can take back home with me and share with my family. Let's do it. We have Captain Jason and his mate Jordan. They're here to put us on the fish. It's time to get real serious. See the game face? Game face. Tying up a fish finder rig. The sinker attaches here and that drags across the floor of the sea as you're uh, drifting. Then you have your leader, which goes to your hook. And this is where we're going to attach our bait. Go ahead and drop it. When I feel the fish strike, instead of immediately setting the hook, I'm going to let out a little line, let him ingest that hook, make sure he's really hooked, and then I'm going to reel him in. Here, flounder, 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 flounder. Oh! Fish on! Help me somebody! Oh yeah! Nice fish. There we go. Let's go. So what I've been waiting for all morning, a nice keeper flounder. Now that I've caught some fresh flounder, let's head over to BJ's on the water. I have to learn how to make this stuffed flounder with jumbo lump crab meat. Hey, how you hey, doing? Hey, how's it going, Chef? I'm, I'm good, how are you doing? Pretty good, how about yourself? Damn good, damn. Look at these oh, beauties. They're sweet. It doesn't get any fresher than that, still flapping. So tell me a little bit about this recipe that we're gonna create. This recipe's been with BJ probably for about 32 years. Each year we use over a ton of flounder fillets just for this one dish. Over about a ton of flounder, it must be a popular dish. Probably our number one dinner. All right, that's plenty. Okay, Lance, we're going to go ahead and put our imperial sauce together. Okay. This is two cups of a, the best quality mayonnaise you can come up with. All right. This is three egg yolks going in. Next, we'll put a half ounce of lemon juice, a half ounce of a medium dry sherry, a dash of Worcestershire, one half ounce of Old Bay. It has to be Old Bay seasoning. And whip it good. Okay, now take that uh, spatula and fold that crab meat in there. This meat is so fragile. Every step is folding. All you right. Touch it as least as you possibly can touch this meat. All right. And now we're ready for the ovens. There's our finished product. We can take care of it back oh here, though. Oh my gosh. We're going to finish it with a little bit of Old Bay. That is beautiful. That's what we Like I tell my daughter, you have to blow it. Mm. A little warm. Just a little bit. <laughs> that is delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Now that is a fresh catch. Yeah, I've never seen any pressure than that one. <laughs> We're just flopping over there. Fritz, thank you so much. You're welcome. What a great time I just had here at BJ's on the Water. But now it's time for us to fly back home. You can do this in your own kitchen. Now granted, you may not be able to go out and catch your own flounder like I was able to do today, but there are plenty of places where you can get a filet just as fresh as the one that we caught this morning. My name is Langston Majet. I've been a private pilot for over 11 years and I absolutely love flying. I took my first airplane ride when I was 14 years old right here out of College Park Airport in College Park, Maryland. Nowadays, I use my plane just to explore new areas outside of Maryland, places where you know it may be too long of a drive, I can easily hop in my plane and get there within a matter of time. Oh yeah. I also like to go fishing and flying has really enhanced my ability to fish at new locations. 
I've been fishing for about seven or eight years, and I just absolutely love the fresh seafood that I'm able to bring home and prepare. My love for seafood has really driven my love for fishing. I like to eat, so I always want the freshest catch available to me. So flying and fishing, that's what I'm all about.